Hey everybody, Austin here with another episode of my Let's Play series on Europa Universal 4. So we're picking up where we last left off. We had recently just won a war against the, uh, let's get our mini map here going, against Ethiopia. And we're in the process now of coring a whole bunch of this area over here, so we'll keep our guys around coring that. We are going through with a one of our colonies here, which is coming through. You know, we now have uh, 266 settlers, so... We're just going to let these things kind of go through and get ourselves ready so we can eventually go back to war and take the rest of the Maldix. Looks like our Cazabellis against Castile just kicked in. Other goal we're going to look at wanting to do here too eventually is we're going to want to um, see if we can annex and vassalize the omens here instead of trying to go to war with them. You know, I'd rather just try to bring them in their fold like this, um, but we have a while before we can do that. Right now we're at negative 78, just because apparently their tax base is still too high, or ours isn't high enough, so we need to get our tax base up a bit. Alright, let's put you on rebel suppression. Get rid of some of these rebels over here. I think I want to, can I move you to... A whole bunch of cultures over here I need to convert. Because they're just taking up space right now. Convert. 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 Yeah, because with that negative, it's lowering, it's raising the uh, revolt risk, lowering the tax modifier, and all my other power too. So we need to get you up. The rest of these are coring. How about over here? So you have a bunch of stuff that's in the same culture group. Which I'm hoping if I eventually conquer that stuff, I'll eventually bring it into accepted culture. All right, and it looks like our colony that has grain. Let's go ahead and bring you into our accepted or into our culture. Any other place I have that has hostile culture? No, all right. Yeah, we're gonna leave these right now. Yeah, we get a little bit of a modifier on it, but that's fine. Hopefully, it'll become green and become an accepted culture soon. Well, I didn't realize Greek took over most of this stuff here. I'll have to probably look up how the accepted culture works. Right, let's get back to political. Hoping we would have gotten slaves here, because I think slaves are worth a lot more. Well, that's fine. We'll let things come along here. Who is Persia? Is Persia allied with anyone? They're allied with Nupari. And they have an embargo on us. If I go to war with Persia, how does trade dispute work? So we have 100% aggressive expansion, 200% prestige, 75% cost. Show superiority gives us 75% aggressive expansion, 200% prestige, 100% cost. Well, let's gain that piety. I'm thinking we'll probably go to war with Persia after this, because they aren't... We look at them, they have us listed as an enemy and a rival. They only have one ally. And they don't have any... Yeah, that's their one ally right there. And they don't have any other things. So I think Persia is probably in the right for taking. Let's go ahead and just start getting some claim fabrications on them. Make it a little easier for us to take them out. Oh. These guys just got went independent. Uh, let's go ahead and bring them into the fold so we'll royal marriage them. Oh, 
No, let's lose the administrative power. Can I vassalize them? I can. Right now we're at five. We have to have a relation at least 190. So let's get that influence. Let's uh, get that relation up. Oh, relations. Pro relation. Send. Yeah, same group, royal marriage. We should be easily able to get them vassalized. Great. How's everything coming along here? See, our cores are at 30%. So about a third of the way done with those cores. How's the colony coming along? Cool. That Kazai belly against Persia came through. Let's get some more going. Let's we'll just get as many Kazai bellies as we can. Kind of get these guys back. Iraq, I think, has a tax base 8. That'd be a good one to grab. Well, actually, these guys all have pretty good tax base. Well, Ethiopia entered into a military coalition against us. That's okay. Who's in a coalition against us right now? Let's see. The Malmics in Ethiopia. We're allied with Poland, Oman, Algeria, and Tiberia. We have five out of eight of our diplomatic relations. Stability plus three, a lot of prestige. Uh, level 25 idea level. Kind of let this play out a little. An omen might actually be at war with Persia right now. Which would be great. We can go to war and grab a bunch of area. We'll wait for some of this stuff to go through first though. And let's go ahead and move us up to four. Get some of that stuff going faster. We're just waiting on things to happen. Omen, let's improve relations here. Oh, morale army went down. Then Swahili entered in the coalition against us. Awesome. Oh, revolt popped up. Swahili insulted us. It's all right, we'll just let them be. They're a little angry. They feel threatened, but that's all right. Cool. Some of those culture groups are coming through. Four, two, one. What's our, uh, what's our air look like? Three, one, four. So we'll have a strong military air, which is nice. Cores are at 50%, so halfway there. Can we build any buildings? Let's see, let's get some temples going. Need to get that tax base up. So let's build all of these real quick. Right. What can we do on military buildings? Training fields, all right. Definitely always want that more military power. Gain the piety. Barracks.
pun. Cool, local revolt risk goes down. Actually, if we're gonna go to war over here, we want those up. Barracks, oh, do a barracks here. Then we have regimental camps. Uh, we'll just do a couple more. One, two, three, four, five. Star forts. Let's get those going. Oh, counting houses. These might be good. Plus one here. Plus one there. Plus one here. What are special buildings we can build? So we can build a college, which increases spy defense and local revolt risk overall. We'll put down that mutiny. An arsenal, which gives us local manpower modifier plus 25 and local recruitment time minus 30. Or consumption center. Might be a good one to build. Oh wait, then we have unique buildings. We can build a university, which lowers our technology cost, and a fine arts, which lowers our stability, and a whole bunch of manufacturing. So we'll wait on those for now. We have a visor spot available. We'll do more L navies. How are we doing on our military units? So her army, we can build nine more units. Naval force limit, build there. Let's fabricate some more claims on Persia. Our cores have almost come through. What is Persia's army size? Wrong menu, we want the ledger. Persia, 4,000, 6,000. Yeah, we can easily crush Persia. Which we'll do here in a little bit, once we can again get these cored. Which are almost done. Shipbuilding time goes up a bit. What happened here? Ah, oh, they declared independence. Interesting. Does that mean you guys should be smaller? Negative 74, what happened here? Border frictions, conquered rival provinces, royal marriage. Cool. Those core, some of those cores are coming through. Sea Dynastic. We are at negative 61 now. Trust is building up, which is nice. Core has gone through. Almost have all those cored. Start religious unity going. Ooh. Sultan's reputation tarnished. Some of our propaganda text is circulating in the court of how Muhammad I is a ruthless power mongler. This might impact relations with the country. Um, I don't want to lose stability, so we'll lose the 100 diplomacy. Cool. So let's get you guys back up here now. So we're going to get ready to go to war with Persia here. Fabricate claim. And we can westernize. So that's an interesting thought. To westernize. Westernize will reduce our stability to negative 3. Reset all our monarch parts to negative 100. And also change our technology group to western. We will then slowly westernize and our progress will depend on our internal stability. When the progress is finished, we will have access to western units. So that might be something we want to look at doing here in a little bit. Um, probably want to grab some of the stuff from Persia first. 
I don't feel like I'm ready to quite westernize yet. Actually, I want to grab some of this land so I can bring Omen into the fold. Cool. And uh, we now have that as a province. Let's move you here. And we will start to colonize more of this area. Send the guy here. Keep you here now. And the guy's back from Persia. Can we do fabricate one more claim? Well, actually, we'll just do the rest of those real fast. We should be able to do it. Algeria wants to call us to arms. Against Luthania, Aragon, Bohem, Austria, Portugal, the Malmix. Mm, decline. I'm sorry, I'm just not ready for that war there. And I can become Defender of the Faith. Interesting. Jiras wants military access between our land. Oh, they have a huge negative opinion of us now. We better send a guy there to improve relations. The guy is still in Persia, I think. Yep. And Persian turned a multi coalition against us. Oh, great. Oh, who's in this coalition against us now? So, Persia, Ethiopia, and Swahili. So that's going to cause some friction down here. Over here. Algiers is at war with them right now. They seem to be fully carpet bombing their area. How goes that war? Right now it's at zero. Hopefully they don't get the land that I want. Let's build those nine additional units that I need. Actually not yet. I think we're good on units. Cool, Ethiopia left a military coalition against us. Gain more manpower. Let's get Swahili out of it. Are they actually sieging it? They are. Oh, let's lose the administrative power. Need a better military advisor now. Let's get that discipline up. Oh, we're at three. Oh, because they have too many leaders. Who's Persia at war with? I think this is the good time to declare war on Persia. So let's do it. Let's see what happens. You know, I think we're, we're strong enough. We should be able to take this war out on multiple fronts. So let's declare war. And let's start this. So let's siege their capital. I think that 46 should be enough down there. Let's bring these guys down here because I'm going to need them to... Oh, that's right. Ethiopia left, which is nice. Swahili's in it. So let's bring you down here to deal with any Swahilians. And let's keep going. Uzbek took out that area I was helping out. It's okay. Alright. 
Sun wants coming along here. Move, I need to core you. Cairo, we won a battle at. Though I love the siege Cairo, but I don't know if I'm able to siege any of the area. Holy one. I'll eventually have to go to war with Algeria, as it looks like. Especially if our alliance is now broken. Oh, we failed to conquer Egypt. All because they took over some of it. Alright. Well, they released Tripoli. Jiras is still neutral towards us, but we'll get them back together. So let's do this. Are we improving relations with them still? We are. Let's improve relations here. Tripoli, because we'll try to vassalize them. The royal marriage. Cool. Let's siege Cairo. Let's see, no negatives going on. Cool. Let's start sieging more of these guys now. What can we do? Conquer Kef. Well, we'll just keep doing our stuff here that we gotta do. Probably let's split you in half. So I think that will work like that. Who's still in this army uh, battle with us? The Momix, Swahili. Alright. Swahili is kind of just letting them do their own thing. Lost some ships down there. I don't even see Persia had this small little island. It's going to be difficult to get guys there. Let's lower you, we don't need you at four. Siege Alexandria. Lose the administrative power. Jiris has improved the most we can. We're at plus 32, okay. So just give him some time. We should be able to... Oh, we're at war, we can't do it. Once we're out of war, we should be able to become allies with them again. Let's gain the mercantilism. Let's detach. Take you out. Detach, take you out. I think we can carpet bomb a lot of Persia here. Get you guys out of the picture. Cool. Killed them. Let's move you the Fars. Let's move you here. That's our colony coming along. 143 settlers. Can we get to them in time to take them out? Twenty-third, thirteen. Yep. So let's take out Libria. Oh, they switched the Shiites. Interesting. So we'll have to convert their religion once we kick that back. The 
those sieges are going well. So is this... You gotta love just sieging these guys. Pinions are improving, which is nice. Should be easily be able to get these guys. Oh man, what's their opinion on us going? Negative 51, so this is definitely still improving. That this trust is going down. Which is what we want. Twenty three twenty. And I think that's probably going to be a good spot for us to, to take a break on this episode. You know, we're, our war's going well. We are sieging all the areas we need to siege. We're at 7 right now, but I think that's just because we don't have our... Uh, what do I have the war goal set up? Defender controls Balhari. So until we control... Where's Bahari? Wow, I set that as the war goal. That was stupid of me. Alright, well, it looks like we'll have to build some boats to get there. Hopefully we can. Uh, we might have to get rid of their Persian fleet here. 15-11-9, that's going to be a pain. I don't know if my ships can get down from there. I'm going to have to maybe build up some ships here to take them out. But, oh, uh, very cool. Alright, well, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, please like it. If you enjoy watching more daily Europa Universal 4s, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Twitter at Hilldog1378. Thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.